What's up guys? Mark Ricci coming to you live from, the, not live, I wish it was live, but you know, we don't have that kind of budget. Coming to you from the Six Side Studios YouTube channel, we have... Ricard Giacchini, I'm playing Craven the Hunter. That's right, and we also have... Kristen Patterson playing Liz Allen. That's awesome, and we're going to be answering some questions from you guys today. This is an annual tradition that we have, you know, when the movie is about to come out, we answer questions from you to interact with you guys a little bit. You know, this is a nice, cool little experience that we have between all of us and you, so it's super exciting, and we're about to answer. The first question is, what is Mark's favorite moment? of uh, being Spider-Man. Guys, what is Mark's favorite moment of being Spider-Man? Being Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, it's just epic. I'd have to uh, agree with that. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, by the way, any question that's addressed to me, I'm going to have these two answer. What's your favorite <laughs> part of putting that suit on? I, I like the tightness. I, uh, it does. It shows off your figure. Yeah. You know, the muscle, the muscle mass. Mm. And it also motivates you to get more muscle if you don't have any of that muscle mass. I mean, two years ago when I first started, I was like, geez, I gotta hit the gym. And I wouldn't have ever said that if I didn't try the spandex on. Now that I did, now that I, or now that I knew that I need to work out, that's what I did. So, you know, it's actually a great motivating factor. I think even if you're not doing a Spider-Man film, just throw on a Spider-Man suit and it'll completely change your self-image and make you uh, inspired to hit the right. gym. You gotta slow down too, because then soon the suit won't fit. <laughs> That's that. That's actually a good problem to have. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If that's a great sign of progress. Yeah. Like it doesn't fit anymore. Right. Can't right. wait until that happens. Is it just one size fits all, or do you gotta grab like? With intense measurements, you got tape involved. Oh, you got oh, especially tailored. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So They want to know. Slow down the donuts too, because. You know, right. They want to know everything. Yeah. They want to know is your left pec a little bit bigger than the right pec? And oh, yes, by oh. two centimeters. So they, right. they write that down and they measure it and they make the suit accordingly. So Right, from the true. posterior deltoid down to the rhomboid. Yeah, yeah. to the glucose maximoid tricep. Right. That's uh, what it's called, yeah. Now, uh, we have a question. Um, how far will that hairline go? Um, <laughs> it just keeps going. Right down to the crevice, deep dark crevices of my body. Right down to the creamy gold center of that. Chair. Right, right. But I embrace my hairiness because. I think they meant uh, lack of hairiness. Lack? Yeah, he said, "How far does the hairline go?" Oh. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, all the way to the tip of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> to be exact. Guys, come on! Don't make fun of you know hair loss. It's all right, we all we all go through it, right, Kristen? <laughs> That's a wig. Yeah. It's actually not, guys. But I mean, I mean they're not gonna if it was, it. I would have embraced Same it. Same with Mark. So. Mark's got a toupee. And Mark, <laughs> I just have receding hairline. Guys, this face isn't even real. It's a mask. Yeah. It's, a, right. it's a plastic mask. <laughs> uh, is this better than Vengeance? I would say that it is definitely better than Vengeance. Guys, when I said that it's the best one yet, I wasn't lying. It is the best one yet until Final Swing. So we, we top ourselves every time, and that's the way to do it, right, guys? Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think this one will be the best one out of every film you ever make in your entire life because I'm in it. Right. I think, yeah, so. Wow. Yeah, you bring, like, a fresh new look to well, it. Like so. a breath of fresh air, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That, I, don't, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or a negative. Are you trying to basically say, put me in every single movie you do? Or are you basically saying, like, this is the, this is the best you're going to get. You're not topping this. Yeah, what are you like, saying? No, I'm she's... saying this is the best. So every other film you make right, after Right, so this she's one saying is... you have to pay a high amount next if you want her to be in the next film. That's right, what she's right, saying. Right, right, yeah. But you want to be in the next one. Yeah. Just okay. the price has changed. Moving on. Um, right. Moving on to the next one. Did Mark put his uh, maximum effort into this, guys? Did I did I put my maximum effort into this, or? I think you did. I mean, the amount of times you tried to like zip up the suit, even though you had that like back fat that was like yeah. really like, you know, stubborn. I think you gave it your yeah. own. You know what I mean? Yeah, you were screaming in a couple scenes. I saw some de <laughs> demons come out of you. Yeah. Again, guys. Uh, the next movie, no back fat will be involved. But we had pizza, pizza, and you screamed so hard. I think I saw a little pepperoni come out the other end. Yeah, I mean. Uh, there's a couple suits that are full of vomit, but uh, we don't yeah. talk about those nights. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, no. Thank God I need so pizza. So what's next? Um... Yeah, guys, don't please, no questions about my pepperoni nipples. We all know that they're there. No need to address it. Thank you. Mm. Okay, next question is, oh, here's one for you. What was it like transforming into the hairy chest, <laughs> the hairy chested creator? Transforming? <laughs> you didn't have to do anything. You knew it was already there. <laughs> That's how we got the part. 
<laughs> you know, you know, you didn't even have to audition. You just took for the I didn't say anything. I just ripped for the audition. I just ripped open my jacket. Yeah. Hair popped out. And, and Mark's I, like, you got the part. Well, but here's the thing. <laughs> Me and Cameron had a bunch of fake hair ready. And when he took off his shirt, we were like, we won't be needing this anymore. They're like, we're going to save so much money with this guy. Damn. You're hired. Oh, dude, the entire budget was going towards giving this guy a hairy chest. Then, and then he didn't even need that. Yeah. Then they're like, and then I'm like, am I getting paid? They're like, get up. And then he's like. And then I came back. Yeah. 30 minutes <laughs> later. Yeah. How long will Rise of Legacy be? This is a great question that we don't have the answer for yet. Right. But, um, I mean, a lot of the scenes that we're doing mm. are very long, uh, which is a good thing, right? Because, um, you know, the longer it is, the more like a movie it actually is. And we're hoping that it's longer than Vengeance, which was, I believe, 57 minutes. So we're hoping to get better than that or higher than that. We can hopefully get to an hour. But with con with good content, not just like... No. We're not just going to add like minutes onto it. Yeah, it won't right? just be like flubber glubber dubber you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It'll be sub dubber 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 Exactly. exactly. Shabada, yeah. Right, with that at the end. Okay, right. so yeah. uh, how do you get fit for Spidey? <laughs> a lot of people want to know how you get fit or how you... Uh, I feel like all these guys asking are super fat. You know, because they all want to get advice. They want to be like, how do you do it? Uh, I mean, you just kind of go to the gym, you get a membership. Um, if you can't afford one, uh, you can get one from somebody else. And you do as many bicep curls as you can. No need for any other workup. It's all in the bicep curls. Right. Uh, that's why my biceps are bigger than any other part of my body. Uh, I overdo it. And it's actually... Or it's, you, it's the only muscle you'll ever right. need. I mean, I have chicken legs, but that's... that's or you just do Sean T's Insanity. And that guy just gets you ripped. You definitely need protein powder, though, too. Um, do you use protein powder? No. I, I just eat raw meat. And yeah, yeah. I mean, do you also do what I do, which is uh, drink eggs in the morning? I don't drink eggs. Oh, you should try it. That is that's brave. Six a morning. That's pretty brave. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I could do that. Next year, I'm trying for twelve a morning. Uh, so how was it? Was it fun doing the movie? Was it fun filming the film? Was it fun shooting the shoot? Was it fun? Yeah, it had its moments. It had fun moments. It had bad moments. Just like every but but the the fun moments were more. I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. More. Sure. I think this is the worst moment. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, why did we choose Craven the Hunter for this film? He's always been one of my favorite villains. I loved him in the 90s animated show. I love the look of him. I love the desire that he has, the passion in his heart. Mm -hmm. And I love that he doesn't need anything personal with Spider-Man. He just wants to kill Spider-Man because of his pride. Right. And that is a unique twist that we haven't done yet. So mm -hmm. that is super cool. Uh, if you could do anything, any villain, who would you use regardless of the budget? So like, if, let's say we had a million dollar budget. What villain would you choose? I would choose Dr. Octopus. What would you choose? Venom. Yeah. Like a really good living Venom suit or Carnage. Yeah. See those symbiotes move. And how about you, How about you, Kristen? We'll see if you're a Spider-Man fan or not. She's nice like, uh, is question. Captain Underpants? <laughs> Who's, is Captain Underpants a Spider-Man villain? <laughs> Mickey <Nice> Mouse? <laughs> Yeah. Um, how do you attempt to make it comfortable? <laughs> wow. Uh, you lose all the weight that you have, clearly, and <laughs> you get into the suit. <laughs> a lot of fatties in the chat. All right. So, uh, hey, Six, I just want to say <laughs> I have been watching you guys since Ultimate Spider-Man. That's the first one Cameron Dodd ever made. Had no idea about the channel when that was made. So that's super cool that you've been along longer than I have, and these guys definitely. So uh, my question is, have you ever... Uh, will you ever make films about different heroes? Maybe get another hero universe. Thanks for all the films. Bye. <laughs> um, well, I really like the bye part in there. It's kind of uh, negative. Well, hello. Oh, no, he uh, just left. I wanted to and his, say his, goodbye to him. I, I don't want to read his name, just your average uh, R word. But, uh, right. yeah, so, uh, uh, no, not necessarily. I think what we want to do beyond uh, this type of hero slash Spider-Man genre is other other things that have nothing to do with it. We might we might dive into it, but it won't be fan films. It'll be original characters and stuff like that. Yeah, so, like Care Bears. <laughs> Working right. on a Barbie movie next. Uh, yeah. yeah, completely do, our like, idea. Can we do like a fan film for Black Panther next? Oh. No. That sounds great. But you can't top that movie, I mean. Yes, we can. Oh, we got... We can try. We mm -hmm. can try. Uh, is Final Swing your last superhero film? I believe it is, yes. I mean, until we get to Hollywood and then we start making real superhero movies. Mm. Mm. That's the way to look at it. 
Uh, what genre movies are you looking forward to making or any more series you guys are planning on doing? Well, we have Juice Boys, the episodic web series about rappers trying to make it in Toronto in the SoundCloud game. Car may be a part of that, right? Yeah, uh, sure. I may be a part of that. Um, no? Okay, so do you guys have... <laughs> Like you may be a part of that, but um, definitely comedic and um, kind of more zany things. Because this 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 kind of series it does have a lot of comedic elements and comedic side relief characters, but it, it takes itself more seriously in the genre. So I would like to do I don't know about you guys, but more comedic. You'd probably go for some, something more horror like. Am oh, I right? For sure, I love that mm. stuff. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. We could even do a mix, horror comedy. Yeah, I mean, she hates killing it. people is kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. No, not at all, actually. <laughs> we clearly have different senses of humor. I, I, I love killing people. Um, it makes me happy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, do you guys ever plan on expanding your Marvel Universe? Okay, this guy already asked that. Um, yes, when we do it in the official Hollywood Marvel Universe. Um, how do you relate yourself to Peter Parker and Spidey? I relate myself to Peter Parker and Spidey. I mean, he's relatable to everyone, right? He's... He has a normal life, he's doing his own thing, but then he has this different element about him that makes him different than other people. That's like everyone in the world, right? We all have like our different sides. So it's just basically an exaggeration on humanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to get that deep. It did though. It's like super deep. I don't think we can uh, escape that. No. All well, right. he's a really good kid, you know? Everyone wants to be like Peter Parker. Yeah, I, yeah. You know? Well, I mean, that's he's why he's good kid. such a good appeal. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Um, and I'm sure that you relate to Spider-Man because your profile picture is Spider-Man. Uh, where are you going? Next question. Oh, we got one mainly for Liz <laughs> and Craven. How were you introduced to Six Side Studios? That's a great question because I wanted to share this with the entire world. So I was walking down the street one day and I saw this guy. Well, he saw me and he actually ran up to me and he's like, Hey, are you from Toronto? And I was like, well, I'm here, aren't I? And he's like, do you want to shoot a film? And I was like, fine. I was gonna save that story for like twenty years down the line, like I know, but like like it should like when be we have kids here. and stuff. But. This is the appropriate platform for it. What? No, I was gonna save it for down the line, and you tell. It. Never mind. They heard. Um, yeah. He loves you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wrap the whole thing up. Like wrap it all up. Oh, one more. One more. Um, Okay, two more. How well will this movie transition into... <laughs> how well will this film translate into Final Swing? Well, there is a two-year gap between the events that take place in Rise of a Legacy and Final Swing, mm -hmm. but it sets up uh, what happens in Final Swing very well. Stick after the credits for the uh, post credit scene. There's actually two post credit scenes. And the last question is, um, what's the favorite... What's your favorite piece of work that you've been in? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll go... We'll all answer, and then it'll be the end of the Q&A. Favorite piece of work? Who wants to go first? <laughs> Me? Yeah. You are a piece of work, this but was, I'm not going to lie. This was my first uh, full-length movie, so mm. I have to say this was a first for me. So, uh, so my greatest experience was this. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I'm honored. Yeah, because I've never done you know, I'm honored, a full-length movie. It, I just want to say it's been yeah. uh, a blast. Yeah. Um, for me, my favorite piece of work, definitely not this. Um, I would say that, <laughs> I would say, uh, just like a Beyblade commercial or I don't know, something like that. Uh, no, honestly, like this is like huge passion project, right? Um, I know that Spider-Man is, you know, I'm not the real Spider-Man, but, um, Cameron's saying, yes, you are, but, mm -hmm. um, I, I have a lot of fun because it's a character I love and it's stories that I love and it's just, it's something that I, I love bringing to people that I know are going to appreciate it and we all have a shared love for the character. So it's a super cool experience, four movies in and you know we got one more in us, so definitely looking forward to that. How about you, Kristen? I guess I'm last. Um, save the best for last, right? I know. Um, so I know that the Spider-Man Productions is Mark's baby, so I'm not going to take that from him. I would say that my well, favorite... Me and Ken made love and there's the baby it's not all mine <laughs> that's that's true that's yeah. very true mm -hmm. but who's the father and mom <laughs> anyways <laughs> like i was saying i would say that i had the, the most mom. fun 
on a one hour episodic where I was reenacting Lisa Left Eye Lopez's life from TLC because I grew up to their music and it played on Reels Network in the States. Unfortunately, it didn't air in Canada, but I got to see it anyways because I streamed it and it was really fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're all going to check it out now. <laughs> we're all, we're all going to watch it now. Do you have a channel too? Uh, I streamed yeah. it somehow, some way. My friend got it from me. Oh, but, yeah. Okay. Anyway, overall thoughts. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up. That was a quick Q and A for a quick video, um, just because we wanna we wanna kind of get it right out. You're in, you're out. Now the real reason is because the battery's about to die. But uh, <laughs> we wanted to do a Q and A for you guys because uh, you know this is Spider Man week. We're doing a new video mm -hmm. uh, about Spider Man leading up to the release uh, on March fifteenth for yep. Spider Man: Rise of a Legacy. Yep. It's a great piece of work. You know we're all we're all proud of it and. Uh, a lot of fun, right? Tune in, guys. Wonderful. Yeah, a lot of fun. Don't miss it.